Hello YouTube and welcome to channel AQ. In today's video we are going to review the Lenovo 300 Full HD webcam. That's right, the video that you're watching now is on the same webcam. So let's dive into the review right away. The unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. You have the camera itself in the package and underneath it you have the warranty card and the support information. You also get a quick setup guide for the camera. The build quality of the camera is good and feels solid. The clip is adjustable and can fit any desktop monitor or laptop screen. The key highlight is the privacy shutter which you can manually slide into place to cover the lens when not in use. Now let's get the camera connected and check out the image quality. The video that you're seeing now is from the webcam itself. Now it has a 2.1 megapixel CMOS sensor with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080p which is full HD. It comes with a 95 degree field of view and a 4x digital zoom. Um, however, you would need to download a third-party application to access the zoom feature because uh, Lenovo does not provide any drivers or software of their own to support this camera. The image quality is pretty good in well-lit environments. However, if you reduce the lighting, then it does get a little grainy. Wanna have a look? Well, let's try and turn off the lighting which is on the screen right now. And there we have it. Uh, you can see that the image quality goes down a little and uh, there are a few grains in the background which you can start seeing and the sharpness goes away right away. Now, the webcam also sports two microphones for stereo audio input. In case you're wondering how it sounds, let's take a listen. Okay, so the audio that you're listening to is from the webcam itself. The microphone does not cancel out any background noise and definitely would perform better in quieter environments. Now they are decent for home use but not in busy places like an office cubicle or outdoors. Certainly not good for voice recording. Well, I am happy with the overall performance of the camera and I will be using it on my Twitch streams going forward. I will leave a link for the webcam in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Hit that subscribe button for more videos in the future. See you guys in the next one.